Hello everyone I hope you are doing great this is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar in this video we will see how to adjust the output water TDS in Ottenberg Interlon smart water purifier so let's check it out The user interface for doing all this might change in the future if that happens please let us know in the comments we will share the updated steps for this one of the key features of Ottenberg Interlon is the ability to change the output water TDS that is the water we drink we can adjust the values from 50 to 150 but we cannot freely assign a value like 54 78 91 etc we cannot do that and this won't be 100% accurate all the time as well there will be a slight variation because this depends on the input water TDS and other factors as well to do this we have to install and configure the Ottenberg Ohm mobile app this is available for both Android and iOS device like iPhone usually the technician will guide you with this when they come to install the water purifier but we also published a full review about explaining all this kindly check the link in the description along with other helpful Ottenberg videos so after doing all that we can open the Ottenberg Ohm app and we can select our Interlon water purifier and we will get like this now at the bottom we have to select this mode and we will have this taste tune mode option select that and then we get the option to adjust the water TDS levels we can adjust the value from 50 to 100, 75 to 125, 100 to 150. These are uh, fixed modes and we cannot freely choose a value. If we select 50 to 100 TDS, then the values could be anywhere between 50 and 100. Like randomly it could be 64, 88 like that etc. So overall the values are between 50 to 150 which is within the good drinking water TDS value range. Suppose if we don't enable the taste tune feature and if we are using the Auro plus UV mode then the drinking water TDS might also go below 50 and above 150. Right now we have set the TDS level from 100 to 150. You can see the display value as well. It says 110. So that is within 100 to 150 TDS range. Suppose if I want this to be 50 to 100 TDS, then I have to switch off the water purifier and drain all the water first before enabling this option. We have to empty the tank first before enabling the taste tune mode. If we do this without uh, emptying the tank or if the tank is off full, then it will take a lot of time to see the changes. So we can fill our water bottles and cans using this water in the tank to empty the tank. Uh, I'll do this and get back to you then. So I'm going to switch off the water purifier and empty the tank. I'll do all this and I'll get back to you. So the tank is completely empty now and uh, the water purifier is switched off as well. Now we can switch on the water purifier and open the Ottenberg Ohm app. It may take some time to connect. We have to get this uh, active Wi-Fi symbol here. It will turn blue. We just have to wait for some seconds. So it is completely blue now. We just have to select this. Go to mode and test tune. Here we can select the value we want. I am just going to go with 50 to 100 TDS. It will say like this. Okay. Now we have selected 50 to 100 TDS. Now we just have to wait for the tank to get full. We will get the indication on the display here. We can also see the status on the app itself. We can see it is filling here. So when it is completely full, it will say full here. So we just have to wait for that. So we just have to wait till the tank is completely full. It will add the required minerals to make the TDS value according to the one we selected. Now the tank is full. We can see the TDS value on the display here which is within the 50 to 100 TDS level. We have configured that only on our app. Right now it is 73. So yeah, that's all we have to do to adjust the drinking water TDS level on Ottenberg Interlon water purifier. 
After making the changes on the app, we have to wait for the tank to get full for getting the current accurate TDS level on the display. Sometimes this may not be accurate. Like a few days back, I got uh, 125 when I selected 50 to 100 TDS level on the Automber Go map. In such cases, we have to drain some water. We can uh, collect some water and we have to wait for some time. Then after that, it automatically got uh, optimized and showed a accurate value within 50 to 100 TDS level. We might be confused like which TDS value we should select here. If we select 50 to 100 TDS level, then the taste could be a bit softer and lighter. If we select 100 to 150 TDS, then the taste could be a bit stronger because it will have uh, more minerals. And if we select 75 to 125 TDS, then the taste will be a bit balanced. Personally, it took me a lot of time to even find a noticeable change in the water taste. You can try all these options and finalize the one you like. We might also have this question, is there a way to verify the TDS value shown on the display and also on the app? Yes, but it is a bit complicated. According to Ottenberg, their uh, TDS sensors are calibrated with 442 solution. So if we use any standard TDS meter like this, then the output value might be a bit different. This is like uh, too much of chemistry for me. I'll share the screenshot on the screen you can check it out these are the steps to adjust the output water TDS in Ottenberg Interlon smart water purifier thanks for watching this video do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comment section please do subscribe if you find this video helpful have a wonderful day and night